Hi, and welcome along to another Sonic Academy tech tip with myself, Phil, and Chris. Um, this one, we're going to be looking at Ultra, Beat, Ultra Beat's sidechain input and how it could be used for various interesting effects. Yeah, this was just something that came across. It's kind of an interesting uh, look at uh, just a different way of working, you know. Uh, we have got a a audio file, which is uh, the Wayfair stabs that Phil created in another tech tip. So what we're going to do is going to get this, you know, like sort of a if you've got a trancy pad and you want a uh, rhythmical gate, yes. this is one way to do it. Okay. Uh, so we will take this off the mix bus. So we have no output. And we go to our usual uh, drum kits, drag and drop samples. Drag so and drop samples. So that was like a uh, default patch. Yes, yeah, in initialize. Uh, and in this slot, we are going to set our... Uh, source to sidechain and switch it on and if we hit play we're getting no sound but if we switch on the sequencer and start to draw in some notes or velocities let's just draw something nice can I at least that's set to 16s, isn't it? Or? Yeah. Uh, and we set our side chain as audio one. And we turn it down because our volume. Again, I've always gone on about this in Ultra Beat. They have all the volume set to plus six, mm. which is yeah, weird. Uh, very weird. So. So we can start messing about creating different gates just by. Switching these guys off, switching them on. So just a straight one. And so what's actually happening here? So we've got we're bringing audio one in. We're and it's bringing it in through through the side chain function of. So that's playing out through ultra beat then. Ultra beat, yep, yeah, and we're using the gate function the step sequencer function to open up the channel. Okay, cool. So we got it in this slot. Uh, so we can use the envelope then. And again, this is the most convoluted process, trying to move these, look. This is me trying to... So you can That's create, pretty cool. You can create the reverse effect. Uh, another thing we can do is go into step mode. Uh, and probably people don't use this much. Uh, we can start stepping all these functions using the step sequencer. So, for example, a filter. Or a filter. So let's go back. To, I'll tell you there's a quirk to this, and it's really annoying. So let's stick on a filter. Uh, Okay, so we go into step mode, and we say step here, and we turn the filter up, step here, turn the filter down, or we can just hand draw it in. So once you've got one filter in, that'll, that's that sort of yeah. parameter. Uh, you can then click on the uh, resonance, and draw it in then. That's still the filter cutoff, so I think maybe you need to move there it. So I have a, I have a mouse here that's about 15 years old. So it's showing you there. Can you yeah. select parameters from yeah. just the parameters you that have already have, been yeah, written? <laughs> Perhaps we will turn down the <laughs> before we kill people. Now, if we go back to voice mode, which you think you should do, because this, this feels like the learn function of smart controls or the learn function in Ableton. Yeah. And if you go back... It ignores those mm. uh, step functions, so you have to be in this mode. So if, you put it, if you put it in step mode and adjusted volume, then you could get get the volume gates as well there. Yeah. Uh, where's that? So is that? This volume here. Yeah. So you could use that for your your gating. Yeah. In that mode. 
Yes, you could take it off the voice mode of that. And yeah. Keep it in that. But you know, you just need to keep it in that step mode in this state for those steps to work. Yeah, so, that's cool. Yeah. So, and are there any other effects in Ultra B that you'd want to use? You've got obviously your filters. Are there any sort of like? I mean, you have EQ bands, so you can have you know, you can have this stepping up. Now it doesn't give you a graphical representation of it moving. Yeah. But cool. So yeah, there's just a, a sort of kind of different way of get, getting pads, maybe getting a step sequencer filter going. And how is it tight? You know, if you're it's, putting on a on a pad and uh you were doing it like a real fast. It's not it's not particularly tight is the thing. And but you do have some scope with the amp envelope to to get a little bit of softness on the tail or a little bit of softness on the attack. There you go. That's um, using Ultrabeat sidechain to create some nice gating effects. Um, thanks for watching this tech tip, and we'll catch you next time.